Hey beautiful people of the living God, all praises to the Most High. Alright, so today the Father wants me to make a video about your visions because where there's no vision, the people perish. So your visions are needed for you to know what's next in your life, for God to disclose things to you that, that, are, that you need to know, whether about yourself, whether a warning, about blessings, whatever the case is. God reveals it to you in the spiritual realm before it manifests in the physical realm, whether it be for good, whether it be for evil, to warn you from evil, whatever the case may be, you need your visions because without your visions, you perish. So right in this video, we're going to discuss um, things that hinder your visions, all right, and how to get your visions and how to use the scripture of God to open up your vision life, to receive your visions from God. Because if you're not having visions and you're not having dreams, it only means that they're under attack and they're blocked. So I'm going to even talk about that. So here we go. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keeps the law happy is he. Now Numbers 12 and 6. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. So God makes himself known unto you in a vision, as he says, and he will even speak unto you in a dream. But are you getting dreams from the Father? And is he speaking to you in your dreams? He should be. All right. Now, because that is how he spoke to Abraham in Genesis 5, 15 and 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And just like Ezekiel, I'm not going to go too far in this. I'm going to show you how the enemy attacks visions and why people are not seeing in their visions and their dreams or not even remembering them when they wake up. Now, Ezekiel 43 and 3, and it was according to the appearance of the vision, which I saw, even according to that vision that I saw when I came to, when I came to destroy the city and the visions were like the vision that I saw by the river Shabar and I fell upon my face. That's Ezekiel. You should have visions. If you're not have, having vision acts for them and n not to mention, you might have to go into spiritual warfare for them. All right. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. All right. Now, these are many of the attacks of the enemy. I'm going to go down here. And why people don't get their visions. All right. Now, you could say, Father, please remove all block, remove and block all dull hearing, closed eyes, and vision. The enemy does that. So, all right. Vain visions, blind visions, false visions, enemy dreams and vision attacks, invasion and astral projection. So you have enemies who will astral project in your dreams and visions. Now, astral projected visions, evil visions, those are not sent by God. Those are sent by enemies, evil spirits, principalities and powers, satanic visions, Satan's agents and Satan, cursed visions, divination visions, dark and night visions, as in Micah 3 and 6 talks about dark and night visions. Not all visions come from God, all right? Now, your visions could severely be under attack, and that's why I went down, and I'm going to go right back here. This is like a prayer put together for you guys to understand the things that the enemy attack. Holy Father, precious King, King of all creation, please let me see understand and perceive in my visions remove all darkness from my visions because some people have dark visions where they can't see right my sight my brain my mind my eyes and and, and my eyes and see no darkness no hazy eyes no darkened eyes no dim vision no blurry vision some people even have blurry visions no blindfolded vision some people have blindfolds on and blinders on right um, some people have blind glasses on some the enemy does a lot of things so people cannot see in the spiritual realm and they can't see in their dreams and their visions so you have to if you're not seeing in your visions and your dreams you need to go on a spiritual warfare and prayer all right no blind visions no dark visions no veiled visions some the enemy veiled some people's visions he puts black black dark clouds over people's visions even umbrellas those are witchcraft and iniquity 
no f no forgotten visions no forgetting visions no remembrance of visions no recollections of visions so he'll make you dream and have visions but you won't remember them and you'll have no recollections of them when you wake up so you you pray to cancel no remembrance of visions you pray to cancel no recollection of visions you pray to cancel confuse visions take the scales out of my eyes some people have spiritual scales in their eyes why they can't see in the spiritual realm and they can't see in their dreams and their visions all right so you pray take the scales out of my eyes that i could see in my visions and dreams and i can see in the spiritual realm remove all evil and unrighteousness bewitchment out of my eyes that i could see open my eye, my spiritual eyes to see father please remove no remembrance of visions obscurity darkness out of my dreams and sight father please remove see no good in dreams and visions break that curse father please remove all nightmares from my visions and bind and arrest the spirit of nightmare and blindness spirit of blindness out of my dreams and visions and the spirit of deafness because some of you people can't even hear when in your visions father please remove can't see remove blindness remove deafness no remembrance no recollection no memory and forgetfulness from my dreams and vision father please remove weakness remove defeated coward afraid scared fearful remove dumbness remove lack of discernment lack of knowledge remove void of understanding misunderstanding confusion from my dreams and visions father please let me see hear understand perceive remember and not forget my visions and dreams never to forget but always to remember my dreams and visions when i wake up but remember all things seen and heard in emmanuel's name amen i just wanted you to understand how the enemy attacks your visions and there's things he sets up to set it up father if there be any stumbling this will say if not of sorry if there be any stumbling block stronghold net snare trap evil altar evil shrine evil grove evil works of witchcraft bewitchment sorcery magic iniquity or any form of unrighteousness set up blocking or blinding deafing my visions and dreams father please consume it to, to ashes from its roots and foundations and cast it into fire for it was not planted by thee heavenly father therefore please cast it into fire with thy words in matthew 15 and 13 in emmanuel's name amen so these are the things why people are not seeing their visions but you can pray for god to open up your visions life use apply the scriptures to see in your visions now psalm 63 and 2 to see thy power and thy glory so i have seen thee in thy sanctuary father i want to and bless me to see your power and your glory in my visions let truth psalms 25 and 5 lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the god of my salvation on thee do i wait all the day father lead me in my in thy truth and teach me in my visions for thou the god of my salvation now seeing isaiah 32 and 3 and you could use isaiah 35 and 5 that is a good precept to see and hear if you're having spiritual blindness or spiritual deafness anoint your eyes and ears with isaiah 35 and 5 and the eyes of them that see shall not be dim and the ears of them that hear shall hearken father let me see and let my eyes not be dim like in isaiah 32 and 3 that is applying the scriptures because you're you're relying on god's word you're you're saying god i believe your word your word doesn't return unto you void i believe the words in isaiah 32 and 3 that the eyes of them that shall see and not be dim so let my eyes see and not be dim you have to apply the scriptures in your prayer you have to use the word of god it's the word of god God that is sharper than any two-edged sword. So it's the word of God that is going to deliver you. It's the word of God that only can defeat Satan. It's the word of God that only can defeat spiritual wickedness. All right? Because the words in the scriptures are spiritual. Now therefore stand and see great see this great thing which the Lord will do before your eyes. Father, let me stand and see great things in my vision and do it before my eyes. You got to apply the scripture. Now, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Father, as in Matthew 13 and 16, 
bless my eyes so I can see and my ears so I can hear. Or you can anoint your eyes with Matthew 13 and 16. Bless my eyes for they see and bless my ears for they hear. Stand on the word of God. My Psalms 92 and 11. My eye also shall see my desire upon my enemies and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. If you want that, you can see that in a vision. Father, let my eyes see my desire on my enemies in my visions and my dreams. Show me and let me hear my desires of the wicked that rise up against me. Now, Matthew 11 and 15. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Father, I have ears. Anoint my ears, so let me hear with Matthew 11 and 15. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mightst be wise in thy later end. Now, these are parts of visions using the scripture. Matthew 24 and 4. Because God can give you, open your spiritual eyes and you don't need to be asleep. You can be awake. He's done it to me many a times. Numbers 24 and 4. He has said, which hear the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty fallen into a trance, but having his eyes open. Oh, Father, anoint my eyes with Numbers 24 and 4. And let me see visions fallen into a trance, even having my eyes open. I did that and he's done it for me. Not once, many times. Now, Numbers 24 and 16, he has said, which heard the words of God and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty, fallen into a trance, but having his eyes open. Oh, Father, as you did in Numbers 24 and 16 and Numbers 24 and 4, and, and, let, and, and the prophet saw a vision of the Almighty fallen into a trance, but having his eyes open. Oh, Heavenly Father, let it be done unto me. Use his word. God is good. He's faithful. He uses his word. Uh, Psalms 89 and 19. Then thou speaks in a vision to the Holy One and says, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one, chosen out to the people. Then thou speaks in a vision. Father, speak to me in a vision like you did to Abraham, Father Abraham. God, Abraham. Sorry, I don't call anyone my father, but you guys know the song, Father Abraham had many sons. I'm just saying it like that. God is my father, God alone. And now, after these things, this is Genesis 15 and 1. And after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Father, as you spoke to Abraham in a vision, speak to me in my visions. Psalms 119 and 130. The, the entrance of thy words gives light. It gives understanding unto the symbol. Unto, unto the simple. Father, release your words of light and give me understanding. Let me have understanding of my visions. Acts 13 and 37. But he whom God raised again saw no corruption. Father, let me see no corruption in my visions. For God speaks once, yet, yeah, twice, yet man perceives it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, how does God speak to people? In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleeps fall upon men, and slumberings upon the bed. So, Father, please talk to me in my dreams and my visions, and deep sleep, and even on my slumberings on the bed. Now, how do you get God to reveal secret things to you? Ask him. Father, as you did for Daniel, revealed secret things in night visions and in visions for him. Please let the same be done on for me because I believe in your word and I stand on it. Then Daniel was this, in Daniel 2 and 19, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Now, Daniel 8 and 16, and I heard a man's voice between the banks of Eula, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So if you don't understand your vision, you can ask the Father. Father, can you send one of your holy minister and angels to make me understand my vision? Or you can ask God himself 
God, you're my counselor, and you are understanding. Please give me the understanding of my vision. I release Holy Spirit to reveal all truth and all things. Proverbs 1 and 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. Heavenly Father, as in Proverbs 1 and 2, please make me to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding. Father, as in Revelation 13 and 9, if any man have a hear, ear, let him hear. Father, I have ears, let me hear at all times and in my dreams and in my visions. Apply the word of God. Proverbs 4 and 1, hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. Father, let me hear your instruction and let me attend on to no understanding. So I told you these be the things that enemies do. Now, I told you there's dark and night visions, but those some is attacks from the enemy. So you want light. So you, uh, Psalms 36 and 9. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. Father, I want no dark and dim visions. Let my let my visions be light and let me see light as in Psalms 36 and 9. John 8 and 12. Then spake Emmanuel again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Father, let me never walk in darkness in my visions, but let me have the light and walk in the light of life. Use the word of God. There's something called air visions, right? Air and error visions. Father, remove all error visions from me. Now, to remember your visions, you can apply some of the scriptures like Psalm 77 and 11. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of all. Father, I will let me remember the works of the Lord in my visions. Surely I will remember the wonders of all. You ha you use God's word of to remember. Then I will remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac. Okay. Now, Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves, men. Bring it again to mind, O you transgressors. To perform, Luke 1 and, 1 and 72. To perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Father, let me remember your holy covenant. When I remember thee upon my bed, this is Psalm 63 and 6. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Remember Psalms 105 and 5. Apply this one. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Father, let me remember all your marvelous works that you have done, your wonders and your judgments of your mouth. In my dreams, in my visions, on my going out and on my coming in. Let me remember. Look, to not remember is an infirmity. And I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I, Psalms 143 and 5. I will remember the days of oil, old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on all, on the work of thy hands. You got to go to the scriptures of remembrance. So that is what I wanted to now tell you. Now with God saying in Isaiah 44 and 21, Remember the, these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shall not be forgotten of me. Now use Isaiah, Psalms 22 and 27. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. Now even God tells you in Deuteronomy 9 and 7. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness. For from the day that thou did depart out of the land of Egypt until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against the Lord. 
Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father. And he will show thee. Ask God. Who is the father? And he will show thee thy elders. And they will tell thee. So basically having your visions. You have to apply the scriptures of God. If you're not having your visions, your visions are under attack or there's some spiritual wickedness going on. Evil altar, stumbling block, you know, vain vi um, witchcraft, sorcery, or Satan's blocking them. So, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keeps the law, happy is he. And if you want your visions, apply the scripture. And another thing people should start doing to protect their eyes ask God to cover your eyes in fire and let your eyes be a flame of fire like Christ, his son. Use the scriptures. There's there's three times or about four times, three to four times in the Bible. I think it's three. I don't, don't quote. I think it's three times. It talks about his eyes being a flame of fire. You can go for those scriptures. His eyes were of a flame of fire and use that scripture and say, as your son Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire, Father. Let my eyes be a flame of fire in my dreams and my visions and my going out and my coming in, protecting my spiritual eyes and my physical eyes from all blindness. And let me see all things. So basically, you're, if you're not seeing in your visions, you're not hearing in your visions, you're not remembering your visions, you're forgetting your visions, they're under attack. And I hope this video helped you at least to have an understanding to use God's word to deliver yourself. And before you go to bed, have good prayers covering your eyes, your ears, even your mind, your brain, and your memory. Because to remember, all right, you have a blessed day. And I hope this video helped you in all the ways that it could have helped you. Stay blessed. All praises to the living God.